Hey, what is up guys? It's Excuse Me, I'm Jack, and welcome back to our tutorial world series. So, it's been a while since we've done an episode of this. Uh, the series got taken over by our Remaking Jurassic World series. Um, but I'm happily, I'm happily, I'm actually happy to bring this back because this series was quite fun. Um, anyways... We're going to get back into the series, as well as we're going to be starting a new tutorial series called Remaking Jurassic Park. Ooh. <laughs> so, um, if you guys want to get caught up with the series, click the card in the top right. It'll link you to the playlist where you can see our three different parts. Um, in part one, we make our T-Rex enclosure with our guest area. And our research area. Um, in part two, we make our Velociraptor enclosure with our research area and our guest area again. And in part three, we made our battle arena. Okay. Of course, all of the other stuff will be included in some of the episodes. Um, but to begin this episode we are going to notice that we don't have any hotels in this park which explains why our accommodation rating is at zero percent so <laughs> we are going to add hotels so we have a 1.5k potential guest count okay so that means we have to account for 1.5k hotel rooms all right so, each large hotel holds 1k of guests, and a small hotel holds 400. Okay. So, we are going to add... We are going to add four hotels, large hotels, estimating to 4k guests. Okay. This will hold... This will hold, um... Most likely the right amount for our park um seeing as half of our park is done and we already have 1.5k okay so first thing we want to do is we want to place down our two base hotels all right so one's gonna go here and the other one is going to go here Actually, no. Instead of placing on the second one, we're going to try to make it look accurate. Okay. So the second one's going to go right here. Alright. So line it up. And then connect it. Perfect. Alright. Um, so that is already 2k. Now what we want to do is we want to... Uh, extend our path on the outsides by two more and then we want to take another large hotel and then move it two to the left so rotate it two to the left okay and then add it add one right here and add another one right here so and this way and this side is two to the right. Okay. Add it there. Nice. Okay. So we can add our little tail there. And we can add our little tail there. Okay. The next thing we could do is we can connect it to the pathway that we set up before. All right. And then we can delete the excess path that we have. And then we're going to do our little method of creating a curve. So we're going to go inward. And we're going to go inward one, two. Then we're going to create a T that is one length. Okay. And then we are going to go to the edge. And then go to where it snaps down. So you can see the line down okay 
then you're going to delete everything in the middle of that. All right, so we have this open area that looks kind of like a helmet. Um, and then you want to curve your path and connect it. And then you can delete the rest of this. Okay, so we have the curved path right there. That should be perfect. Um, then we do it on this side as well. Go out two. One, two. Make a T. Then connect it. Um, note that you can do this on the other side too. But I like doing on doing it on the inside because um, it leaves less like debris, and it just it just it just it's just easier for me. All right, so we have our main hotel array. Now what we want to do is we want to connect it. So let's connect it to our main park. Um. So drag the pathway. It doesn't matter where you connect it. Just connect it. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to want to do it here as well. So we want to take the backside of our visitor center. Go up. Three. And then connect this to the back. So it's making like a 80 degree, 70 degree angle. Okay. Then we're going to want to go inside one. And then we're going to go like one full pathway and then we're going to do two short ones until actually no we're going to just connect it on both sides like this so this is the line that we follow okay then we delete all of this right so it kind of leaves us with with this like angled um pathway that we want to do our two and then we just do our t go down so we kind of had to like falsify one so it doesn't um, look too weird because it's just one angle. Uh, this is going to be multiple angles. So you know, delete this, connect it with the curve, and then delete this, connect it with the curve, All right? Delete this and delete this. Alright, so this leaves us room to add more stuff in the future, like going this way. Uh, so that was our plan. Alright, next thing we want to do is we actually want to line this one up because I saw that this one wasn't lined up correctly. Okay. Alright. So this is about right, right? there so just realign that just to make sure that it's all right all right there we have our hotels nice <laughs> all right so the next thing we want to do is we want to make our enclosure so our enclosure is going to consist of our level four dress arc fences or Jurassic World fences, right? Um, and we are going to put them on the outsides of the hotels, right? So it doesn't matter where you put them. Uh, what matters is if you could make them as straight as possible. So we want to go for perfect angles without it kind of looking weird. Okay. okay. Like that. go out to from the end
Actually, no. We can go out all the way to the end over here. Okay. So I went out four length from this fence right here. I went four. Okay. One, two, three, four. I went on another four. All right. Then from this fence, I went out one, two. And then I'm going to go up um, by an angle. So I'm going to make a wing with a full fence. And then we go two. All right. Then we're going to do another wing and go up until the border. All right. And I'm going to connect this. So I'm going to kind of take a different route. I'm not going to make it a uh, square. Um, I'm going to try to curve it a little bit. Because um, I kind of want to do another operation center back here. Okay. This is how our enclosure looks. Um, so from the hotel fence we went out two uh made a wing we went on another two made another wing then we went out uh four and then on this side uh we went out four again and then we made a made a um 90 degree angle then we made a wing we went out two made another wing and then connected it all the way until this one okay so this is how the enclosure looks. Uh, you can try to replicate it if you did not understand that. <laughs> um, you can see the lines where the fence breaks are. Uh, so this is the full length of the fence. So there's four full lengths right here. And there is one, two, three, four, five. Five full lengths right here. And there's one, two full lengths right here. As long as another little addition right here that connected to this full length fence right here. Then right here we have one, two, three full lengths with this little addition that was connected to this fence right here. Then we went out two full lengths right here. We went out three full lengths. Um, well, we technically went out four full lengths. And then we connected it to this one and then we cut off the rest right here. And we did one full length, two full lengths, one full length. Okay. So as you can see, our hotels have this much viewing distance. Okay, so that leaves half the enclosure pretty much blind. So, instead of like adding our viewing galleries, right? We wanna kind of divert guest traffic away from here because I'm pretty sure you don't want to experience like a whole bunch of guests. Um, in your hotel area, right? You don't want that. You want to kind of like not hear a lot of noise when you're sleeping, obviously. Um, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a little boardwalk right here, this middle one, and then we're going to go up. Three. All right. And we're going to add some shops, right? Um, it's okay to leave some space um, just for like some trees or whatever. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the fence. And then where I can put it, I'm going to put it. So I'm going to put a restaurant. I'm going to put a drink shop. Shop shop. <laughs> then a shelter. A restroom. The restroom could actually fit there. Perfect. And I think that is pretty much good. Okay. Again, try to put some trees. 
Oh, that's actually perfect that a tree fit there. Um, you could add some of these trees as well if you want. You know, the variety kind of gives you a little bit more to play with. Then we can just add some trees back here. Kind of isolate the fence. Okay, add some more trees there. Um, if you want, I think the ginkgo trees would actually look all right as well. Instead of these, like, what are these, like spruce or whatever? Uh, the ginkgo trees work well as well. Because um, it allows them to be placed, like, a lot as well. They just look like oak trees or whatever. So, you know, you can just add them to your park. Add a lot of trees. Now, I love my trees as well as I love my um, f umbrellas and cherries. All right. Perfect. Obviously, customize the shops. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to randomize it until I see something I like. That is a little bit too bland. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. All right. I'm going to do another one. Randomize it until I, just, until I see something I like. All right. Uh, we could kind of move the shop entrance. Adjust a bit. I want to go with some trees. All right, perfect. Can we have one more shop? Randomize it. Uh, you can follow my settings if you guys want to. Um, stick with panels. That's panels. That's panels. Uh, but you can see the settings that I use if you want. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put down a gyrosphere attraction. Okay. We're going to put it on this fence right here. And then we are going to make it go out over here. Okay. So we're going to make it go back and forth. Uh, trying to like take over as much space as possible that the um, hotels cannot see. All right. Then what we want to do is we want to connect that. We can delete this pathway if you need to. Actually, no, we shouldn't delete that pathway. We should extend it and then do our thing again that we do here. Okay. Connect the, connect the path. Delete this part. You want to probably use a different variety than the ginkgo trees back here. Uh, again, try to mix a little bit. Try not to just use one type of tree the entire way. Um, you don't want it to like look a little bit too different than the rest of the environment. Okay. Then I'm going to increase this to 10, which is the maximum of... Gyrospheres, gyro gyrospheres that you could use. And then I'm just going to make my environment. So the environment, we're actually going to pause it because I don't want the gyrospheres to be um, causing any issues. The type of environment that we actually want to use here is we want to slope it. Okay. All right. We want to make the hotels on a high, high, higher level than the rest of the enclosure okay so you can actually really see the uh see the park okay obviously the rest of the enclosure you can kind of play around with it as much as you want um i'm not gonna do anything special for it i'm just gonna make a hole in the middle and then just um, flatten out the entire inside of it. All right. But then obviously what you're going to want to do is I want to actually. Do 
that. And then slope this down. Um, I'm going to use the level 3 slope. Okay. And since it's the gyrosphere, what we're going to want to do is we're going to kind of... make it as sloped as possible before the turn so it doesn't like um look weird when it's going up the slope because actually no let's flatten this area out uh because the gyrosphere does not work well when it is going up the slope uh sideways because it just looks so really weird um so with that said i'm going to actually just follow the pathway and slope it the gyrosphere does not work when it's sloped. Okay. Might want a little bit of. I'll do a little bit of that. Okay. And another thing you guys can do is I'm going to add a mountain. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add a mountain right about here. Okay, let's just actually slope this a little bit. Level three again. And this is like a straight kind of um hill so it's not gonna really spend that much time sliding the, like left or right okay then what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to expand this it a little bit more on the side uh make sure you don't like follow the path or make sure you don't kind of like go too close to the driver's rear path because it's going to make it um a little bit messed up okay again slope it a little bit more if you need to slope it a little bit more see right here we kind of messed it up that slope it again uh because we want this to be as straight as possible getting my my hair is getting in my face oh god okay perfect let me have a little hill right here um if you guys want you can try to slope it i'm not gonna try to slope it that much um a bit all right then i'm gonna add some trees to it all right then i'm gonna add a water source right here and the good thing about it being kind of away from everything is we could include the water source to go like a little river right and then we can just like stop it right about here okay. so it still kind of looks like it's going to go a little bit further so we have like this huge area for water and then we have a little pond or lake or whatever you want to call it Like so. All right, cool. So we have this huge enclosure for some of our tall herbivores. All right. So we could use these incubators. Uh, we're gonna do it in both of these because I'm pretty sure we're gonna use it a lot. We're not just gonna. This is gonna be our first like mixed herbivore cage. In oh, sorry, enclosure. So um. You know what, let's do our, yeah, let's do our Brachiosaurus. Okay. So we want to use our small appetite. And then we want to use our humble. Okay, so we want to get 50%. Actually, um, let's not, uh, yeah, 50%. I don't care if, if they get sick or not. Um, well, we're going to incubate, like, a couple 
um, a couple of these guys. All right. Then we're going to go with our um, mixture between our Brachiosaurs, our Parasaurolophus, and our Triceratops. Since those three are the main ones that are, like, you know, in enclosures together. Okay. So I'm going to fast forward through this. Um, actually, let's set up the dinosaurs first. Um, again... I don't probably have to go through this all the, like every single time, but um, the ones that I usually go for are small appetite and humble. Okay, and if you have one extra modification left, uh, try to go for more humble. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that for our triceratops as well. Okay, we're gonna go seventy-five percent humble. Actually, no. Uh, for the Triceratops, it doesn't really matter. So we'll just, we'll, let's just go 100% humble. And then let's just um, override the um, negative trait. Okay. So we have them set up. And let's just uh, fast forward. All right, guys, so we have a lot of our dinosaurs already ready. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be adding their required food. So I kind of want to mix in the seed plants. Um, okay, so let's add in a bit. I kind of want to give it off the coast. Um, we also want to make it in, like, small little groves. We don't want it to be a little bit, like, too much. Um, as well, we can mix it into the trees, you know, 
as it kind of hides um, the textures because the textures are a bit kind of, like weird when it comes to the tall nut trees. Um, meaning they do look weird. <laughs> um, we can kind of hide them. All right. Just make this entire like field right here. Tall nut as well. So the um, brachiosaurs can actually go towards the hotels and eat like right in front of their faces. <laughs> All right, so we can do that. Okay, again, add some more in the trees. All right, cool, and then they're happy. All right, we're gonna wait for our triceratops to be completely up. All right. Now we can add them to the rest of this park. That. Our Parasaurolophus should be okay as well. Nice. So another thing we kind of want to do is we want to make an operations area over here. Okay. So we kind of want this to match the ground level. So we want to bring this out. Okay, like so. And then we could slope this up. Um, right now I'm just using the contour lines to see if it would work. Okay. Then I'm going to completely remove a lot of the trees. Okay. Alright. Um... We should take care of our triceratops. Yes, they are missing ground viper. I know that. <laughs> All right. So we kind of want to mix in the ground fiber in this area. As well as alongside this little river or this little pathway. Because we want to like create like a little path for them to go through. Um, Kind of like make our triceratop fields or whatever you want to call it okay and of course they need water so we could just you know add a little water source if we want to you know so they don't have to leave the area too much kind of get rid of some foliage so you can actually see the water all right cool now we could just add like a little rock here if we want to uh, and this is the temperate biome so we can just you know use the temperate rocks I forget that I'm doing this without mods, so I can't just overlay the rocks. Okay, okay just do something like that, you know, some texture. Okay, I wanna flatten that out. And then we wanna make our fence. And then we wanna do another operations area. So this operations area is gonna consist of response facility and a medical facility. Okay. Like so. Yeah. Then we want to take off a uh, facility path. 
you want to kind of line it up with the fence and then go all the way up or line it up with the gate sorry so like if you were to like you know go straight it would kind of be like in the middle okay then we want to take this one and then we want to just go straight that way and then we want to just you know use the fence as like a guideline and it, it'll auto snap to the fence like that and you can connect that delete that and we can make like an angle a tail or a wing sorry then we can connect it right there all right Add some trees, some foliage. All right, I'm gonna use some of the kinko trees. Like so. All right. So we made our first shared, um, made our first shared enclosure, right? But we also want to add our ranger posts, okay? So our ranger post right there will be okay. Our ranger post right here will be okay. And a ranger post right there would be okay. It doesn't matter how many ranger posts you put in this enclosure, to be honest, because we have our separate ranger team right here. Okay, so one, two, three. Then we can give them to up the upgrade slot of advanced scanners. And you know, we can just give them like advanced training as well. All right, so they're gonna scan. Then we can set um, this guy to do like the opposite. So one, two, three, and good. So, you know, we can decorate if we want. We can add a couple of rocks and stuff. Again, like the end of my all of my other tutorial series, aka the only one that I other the other one I have on my channel. Um, I'm going to do some fixes at the last episode. Um, right, you know, do some changes and everything like that. All right, I'll do some rocks. No. And all right, so we have our brachiosaurs over here. No. Go off and you can see our brachies. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Anyways, guys. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, interesting build. I kind of had to go through it a couple times. Um, but yeah, you can see that we are at three and a half stars. And we are holding 100% of our guests that we can hold. All right. So, uh, again, we should probably fix our transport restroom and shelter rating. Um, but if some of these issues are in like this area over here, yeah, this area. Um, I'm not gonna really deal with them that much if they're in like the uh, facility area right here. I'm not gonna really deal with them. Um, but where is our transport rating kind of having issues at? Uh, back here. Again, yeah, I can't really do anything about it back here. Um, but yeah. Anyways, this is our park. It's looking amazing so far. Um, let's go into cinematic mode or whatever you want to call it, capture mode. Damn, that's amazing. All right, guys. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And comment how it looks. Um, if you want to see something particular in the next episode for this world, uh, leave a comment. And if um, I like it, well, if I like it, I'm going to like all of you guys' like, suggestions. Uh, I did a poll. All of you guys' suggestions were amazing. So I'm going to slightly include them into my, um, you know, videos. But um, if you guys have suggestions for this world, leave a comment. And, you know, if I feel like it will fit in, I'll include it. If I feel like it doesn't, then I'll just include it in another build. But yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.